challenges that kindergarten first and second grade teachers have is the teaching of phonics. And with phonics, we know that we want to use the Goldilocks principle. We don't want too much, we don't want too little, we want just the right amount. And so that means that there will be some variation in the phonics rules that students need. Students who come into second grade and are proficient or above readers will need a lot less phonics construction than students who are in the second grade and are less than proficient readers. And what we know is that the phonics rules that students have the most trouble with are vowels. Most of the consonants make a sound that students can both hear distinctly and that sound a lot like its name. So if you learn the letter B, the sound B, it comes to you pretty easily. However, especially with short vowels, the A, the E, the I, and the U sound so much alike. The difference between bet, bit, and but is familiar to us because we've spent a lot of time reading and processing the way in which sounds map to print. But for young children, those words and those vowels sound a lot alike. And so emphasizing vowels and how they work in words is an important mechanism for improving phonics. As students move into first and second grade, some of these vowel teams get to be pretty challenging. So by a vowel team, we mean vowels like E and A that pair together. And sometimes we know that like in the word heat, the E-A is a long E. But then we have the word head in which E-A sounds like a short E. So we have to assure students that when the word doesn't make sense in the sentence, that we need to be sort of flexible with our phonics rules. Because in English, as we know, these vowel teams can be sort of tricky. One of the other things that's really important is that a lot of the words that students read in the beginning of reading, like in first and second grade, are high frequency words. High frequency words like the, of, from. And these high frequency words are often what we would call irregular or outlaw words. And what I mean by that is that they don't follow the rules of phonics. And so as we teach students about these vowel sounds, some of the words that they see the most frequently don't follow those rules. And so we want to be sure that students have a lot of practice, both reading and understanding that some of the high frequency words aren't going to follow the rules of phonics, and that they need to acquire a high level of automaticity with these words. Otherwise, they're going to have trouble with reading both fluently and also understanding what they read.